Uh, now, Juan, I, I was able to watch The Two Popes, and what I really found interesting was, that, of course, you play the younger Pope Francis. Were you at all kind of worried or scared to take on a character that's based on a real-life person? Well, that, no, I, I wasn't scared, but, but yes, it was a really big challenge for me because it's my first time playing a, you know, a real living character. So, but uh, we worked very well with Fernando. We researched a lot and we interviewed people who worked with him, uh, studied with him. And, uh, and also with Jonathan, we interchanged you know, notes and uh, ideas about how to, to play. And were you also, as an actor, trepid to talk with, with Price since he's playing the present day Pope Francis and you're playing the, the younger version of him? Um, so the, the lines don't get kind of intertwined? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, I, I, I flew to London uh, for a week to, to rehearsals there and to, we, we read the script with Jonathan a couple of times and uh, I also read, the, uh, I record, I, I worked with the Jonathan's uh, dialogue coach because he, he wanted to have the the Argentinian accent, and we, 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 we talked about a lot with Jonathan, but Fernando didn't want me to, to copy anything. He, mm. he didn't want to go in that direction, almost the opposite, because this, this is a guy who, who changed really a lot, so he wanted to have one character as a young pope uh, and another completely different as a pope. And it's funny that you mentioned that uh, Jonathan Price wanted to make sure that he had the Argentinian accent. Yeah. You being from Argentina, how did he nail it, in your opinion, that accent? Fantastic. I yeah. think it's fantastic. I, I, he worked a lot in, that, in, in, in his accent, and uh, I think it's fantastic. Not only the accent, but the, you know, the hands and the, mm -hmm. the way of express ideas of an Argentinian trying to talk in English. And, uh, I, I think it's a remarkable, yeah, remarkable. Yeah, me being work. Hispanic, watching, I was like, wow, it's it's pretty interesting how he kind of was able to really nail that that uh, Argentinian. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, we are talking about a fantastic actor. I mean, both of them, you know, you know mm -hmm. Tony Tomin is it's, it's also fantastic. So. But I think uh, Jonathan's work is uh, is really remarkable. Mm -hmm. And another element that I really loved about the film was seeing how Pope Francis found his calling to become a priest. In your life, did you have a, maybe a, a moment in your life where you kind of knew, okay, I want to become an actor? No, not really. No? No, I'm afraid not. It was like, uh, in my case, was, you know, step by step. It wasn't a call. Mm. And that, that's an interesting what you're saying, because that was a moment in the script that I, when I read, first read the script, I said, this is going to be tough for me to do it, because it's, I don't have that notion, because I'm not a religious person so it's uh, I mean it's a very powerful moment so you have to you have to think very well what to do and now uh, my last question before I let you go in the film we constantly see the the dichotomy of a traditional point of view and a progressive point of view with both of those pope with both of the popes in your opinion how what is the best way to marry both of those elements of traditional and progressive oh well, uh, listening and dialogue, you know, I think the, the, the best way and what, what the film shows is that uh, it's possible to, to dialogue, to, to having, having two very different uh, positions and opinions, you can still uh, agree in, in lots of points because uh, as humans, we, we almost want almost the same, but in a very different ways. Well, again, Juan, it was an absolute pleasure, and you're absolutely great in the film. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.